Happy birthday! Is that the gift from your ancestor? Who's it from? Grandma. It's from Grandma? Oh, I'm gonna hold on to this one. But it's my gift! The gifts from Grandma go to Mommy, okay? Mom, my gift from my ancestor arrived. It's from Grandma, but can I please open it? No, give it here. Did your gift from your ancestor arrive? Yeah. Is it from your grandma? Yeah. You know the rules. Hand it over. But why can't I open it? I'll tell you when you're older, okay? Is that from your grandma? Yeah. Give it here. You know the rules. Mom, I was wondering if I could open up all my gifts from grandma this year. No, you can't. But I'm 16. I'm old enough to know what you're keeping from me. Jessica, can we please not have this fight every year? Jess, is everything okay? You know how we get a gift from our ancestor on our birthdays? Yeah. Well, every year mine comes from my grandma. And every year my mom doesn't let me open it. What do you mean doesn't let you? Like she takes it from me and hides it. Sounds like there's a big family secret she does not want you to know about. What do I do? I want to know what my grandma's sending me. Maybe next year you can open the gift, find out what it is, and then just rewrap it real quick so your mom never even knows you opened it. Yeah, that just might work. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did your gift from your grandmother arrive? Not yet. Very well, well, I'll be waiting for you to give it to me. Have a good day at school. Jess, I've been dying to know what your grandma sent you. I haven't opened it yet. Girl, what are you waiting for? This gift might reveal a huge family secret. Once I open it, there's no turning back. If I were you, I would have torn that thing open the second I got it. Mom, I'm home. Mom? Good. She's not home yet. Whatever's in here could change everything. What is this? Hi there, sweetheart. It's Grandma. I know it might be weird hearing my voice as you were just a little baby when I died, but I wanted you to know the truth about our family. The woman you're living with isn't who you think she is. In fact, she isn't your mother at all. She's- Hello? Mom, you scared me. What were you listening to? Oh, just an audiobook for class. Gotcha. Well, I'm about to make your birthday dinner. Do you want to come down and give me a hand? Yeah, I'll be down in a second. Great. Oh, and did the gift from your ancestor arrive? No, it's so weird. It hasn't came yet. Hmm, that is weird. Well, let me know when it does. Of course. She works for the Secret Protection Program. Your real mother is the most wanted person in the world. She's head mafia boss. I know the protection services is protecting you from your mother finding you, but it's also preventing you from knowing the truth about our family. Your mother has done some very, very, very bad things, but she's not a bad- What are you listening to? I told you a school assignment. Where did you get this? Is this from your grandmother? No. It totally is. You're not supposed to open gifts from your ancestors. Give it to me. No, don't leave this room until I come back. If this is all true and I'm in the protection program, that means my mom's still out there trying to find me. I need to get that device back if I'm going to find her. I don't know how much she listened to, but her grandma explains a lot of it. I'm worried she's gonna go looking for her. Bring her in tonight? It's her birthday. You're right, copy. I think she's in the shower. That was my chance. I contacted the protection services to take you away from your mother when you were just a baby. She had been using you as bait in some very dangerous situations. Situations she shouldn't be in herself, let alone a kid. Once your mother found out that I helped you get into this program, she killed me, but I don't regret my choice. It is important that you never, ever, ever try to find your mother. Just know that you're safe as long as you're with your protective agents. I need to get back ASAP. Where do you think you're going? I'm sorry, I don't have any money, and I don't mean any trouble. Wait a second. You don't know who I am, do you? Should I? Yeah, I'm your mother. Your real mother. Mom? Yes, sweetie. It's me. I can't believe I found you. How did you find me? I know people who know people. And someone thought they saw you getting off the bus in Times Square. Are you busy? Why don't you come back to my place and we can catch up? Oh, I don't know. I can't be out too late. It's not like I'm a stranger. 
Come on, we have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, I just have like a lot of schoolwork and other stuff to get done. Are you afraid of me? No, no. Then come with me, now. Please, make yourself at home. You can put your stuff wherever you like. Wow, you have a lot of weapons. Oh, don't mind those. They're mostly just for scare. The ones that are super dangerous, I make sure to keep tucked away in my pockets. Who's here? I forgot I had a meeting with Meatball. He's usually very nice. Just don't stare at his missing eye too long or he will kill you. Are you for real? It's happened too many times. But you'll be fine. Can't I just wait somewhere else, like in the kitchen? Fine, but I do want to introduce you two before he leaves. Hi, Meatball. Looking meaty as ever. <clears throat> I know, I know. Come on in. 911 operator, what's your emergency? Hi. My name is Jessica, and I'm in the Secret Protection Program, and I really need someone to come and get me. Jess, I'd like you to meet Meatball. Hi, Meatball. It's nice to meet you. Get it? Meet? You called the police on me? Of course I didn't, you meathead. I'm more wanted than you are. Then who did? I have no idea. The girl. Jess, what did you do? I didn't do anything. You are a liar, just like your grandmother. I'm going to have to get rid of you just like I did her. Meatball, give me a hand. Gladly. <sighs> no! Get in. You found me. Now. Did you tell her anything about the safe house and where it's located? No, I didn't tell her anything. Good, then we can go back there. Are you mad at me? No, I'm just glad we were able to get you back under our protection before it was too late. How are you doing? I still can't believe that I met my real mother yesterday. And that she tried to kill me. There's something you should know. The police took her into custody yesterday, and she'll be in jail a very long time for the murder of your grandmother. But I have to ask, would you like to see her? No, I want nothing to do with her. There's something I wanted to ask you. Yes? Could I open the rest of the gifts for my grandma now? Now that I know the truth? I'll go get them. I really hope these don't unfold any more family secrets. What does it say? It's an empty card. But it's the thought that counts. I love it. And you never know, maybe they forgot to write in it. Happy birthday. What is it? A gift from your soulmate. What does it say? Another empty card. Yay. Your soulmate gift arrived. I wonder what they got me. Wow, a blank card. We did not raise you to be ungrateful. My soulmate got me a car for my birthday with a note saying, meet me in the middle. Isn't that so cute? My soulmate gave me money and said, go to therapy, you need it. <laughs> what did your soulmate get you, Jess? My soulmate gets me a card each year. It's actually pretty cute. Oh my God, a credit card? No. Oh, like a love note? Well, not exactly. And what? Well, they're blank cards. Huh? But it's the thought that counts. And what's the thought in that exactly? That they're getting me something? 